probably under approval of licenses, permits, vouchers, and applications. Uh, yes. I think that it's, <laughs> I'd rather not handle things that, or have things come up last minute like this, if we can put them off, but it's their business and. Well, that, that was the issue, right? They, they expired. Um, they kind of, they came in at the last minute and uh, begged and pleaded nicely to uh, try to get them approved as quickly as possible. Yeah. Obviously, they're they're open tonight and selling. So, <laughs> can I just right. I just want to ask one question, and then and, and and I just I don't know because I remember years ago when I ha I had a liquor license in the state, and I had residents weigh in on stuff like that. It had to be put on the agenda in enough time uh, to get that approval. I'm, uh, are we on? Are we in the right? Is this in the right state of mind when we, ju we just blanket put this out there on the agenda and it doesn't say what establishments are looking for their license? Uh, that's a great question. Um, and I, I think you're probably right. Um, probably in the, to be prudent, we should um, put this off for approval until the next meeting. I mean, I just want to do what's right. I mean, I know that I just think blanking and it doesn't give we're not doing due diligence for if somebody had an issue or, you know, to be brought to our aware, I, you know, I don't know. I, I'm just asking the question. That's all. Yeah. Well, the, the other thing that I do um, just to, just to, uh, is we also run it by the chief to see if there's been any incidents or calls or anything like any issues that he may be aware of for those that are applying for the liquor licenses as well. So we do that also. Mm -hmm. Historically, we have always just put down uh, uh, liquor licenses. No, not any specific one, just liquor licenses. Okay. That, the, that's the other option, the other option is we could, um, I could post it again and just, we could have a quick 15 minute special meeting in two days from now or Thursday or whatever for approval. I, I, that's another option. I think we can. I'm available. Same. Okay. If that's the way we want to handle it, if that's the board's wishes, we'll do it that way. I'm comfortable handling it tonight after some thought uh, under the approvals of license permits, vouchers, and applications. But if the, the board wishes, we can hold a 15 minute meeting in a couple of days. It. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I would, I'd be willing, I, I, I'm not a, opposed to doing under, uh, under licenses, permits, and vouchers, but uh, if um, you want to take and have it uh, um, uh, as a liquor license application, then, like I said, I'm available uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'm good with whatever, whatever the pleasure is. I just, I just think that from here on out i think we shouldn't blanket something like that i think it should be on there uh who's looking for that's just my opinion uh you know i agree with you dave as well um my concern was just that it was uh, that they should have applied a while ago personally exactly um, they're, they're they did operate uh they did we don't have any we don't have any information or any we haven't heard from the police that there's any any issues there um, and, and being there, the state ultimately is the one who regulates this. Um, that being said, that that's why I was comfortable, but that's fine. I don't, we can, we can go, we'll, we'll do a quick 15 minute meeting. Uh, I mean, I don't know how anybody feels about Thursday, but. Uh I'm, I'll be available. I'll make myself available. <clears throat> okay. okay I'll, I'll warn it. I'll get it. I'll get it posted tomorrow. Um, is there a particular time Thursday you want to have it? What's the board's wishes? Anytime after 530. Same here. Let's get That'll, it done sooner than later. 6 p.m. Thursday? That works. That's good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, public comment. 
All right, treasurer's report. I don't have anything this time. Anything I have is in the uh, agenda. Excellent, thank you. Thanks. All right, next up, we got Capital City Stampede 10K permit application for approval. Yep, um, she was uh, gonna join us, uh, Ms. Uh, Sal Mayer. I'm not sure of the pronunciation. Um, the uh, application is in the uh, package that I sent out for that with a, with a map as well. Uh, let me open it here. Have they done this in the past? Have they, is this yeah. the Capital City Stampede? Yes, they have. <coughs> so yeah, there's a bunch of mile markers there. Um, the uh, permit application is good. It's gonna be on June 12th from nine to 10.30. Okay. And it includes a portion of the junction road. She did provide a copy of the certificate of insurance as well, which is in the package. They will have uh, what they what they call course marshals throughout the race uh, to assist with uh, traffic control and safety. Okay. Have we ever had any issues with it in the past? Uh, again, I'm I'm the rookie here, but none none that I'm aware of in in looking through everything. Okay. But I don't have a deep history on it either. So, um, yeah. Does the board have any questions? No, I'm good. I would make a motion to approve it. I second that. Uh, all right. We got a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Perfect. Uh, next up, personnel policy revision approval. Yes. So that one, um, we've been talking about that for some time. Uh, I've had uh, some some comments and feedback from the staff, and I think uh, perhaps maybe you, Justin, and John, I did uh, with some um, revisions. All the revisions uh, have been made. Uh, I, again, I sent this out probably a week ago with, with that. Uh, I haven't received any additional comments back on that yet. Uh, so I'm just looking uh, looking to the board for uh, any further comments or a um, revision approval to issue this out um, as the latest revised personnel policy. Has everybody had an opportunity to look through it? Yes. Yeah, I what haven't is, yet, but uh, what I've looked over, what I've seen, I'm good with, yes. What What were your thoughts, Flo? I think it's fine. I didn't see anything that stood out to me in terms of needing any changes. Looked good overall. Thank you. Again, the, the, the biggest change was the addition of the uh, transitional work section mm -hmm. and the addendum. Um, as well, and then there were some minor, you know, corrections as far as spelling and uh, verbiage and things that I just cleaned up a little in it as I went through it. So yeah, that was the biggest. Okay, I didn't get a chance to read through it thoroughly. Did we have a, a section that addressed? Uh, okay. Um, we can always amend it too. Oh yeah. Um, perfect. <laughs> Any other comments or, or questions on it? Should we, uh, does the board feel comfortable making a motion or would we prefer to wait until we have a, a full board? I could go either way. It might not be a bad idea to wait and make sure that John's had a chance to review it. And if you haven't had a chance to look at it in its entirety, maybe we should wait. Uh, I would agree. I, I, I would want to look. I have looked it over and I haven't, you know, I just haven't 
got my mind wrapped around it that much, so I'd like another opportunity to look at it. Okay. Brad, any thoughts? No, move to, uh, to uh, uh, table the uh, table this uh, item till next meeting. Second. All right. Any discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, authorization to file three state revolving loan program applications. Yeah. I, uh, Tom, would you like to speak to these? Uh, and incidentally, there was one on the agenda that shows the dollars to be determined. Uh, Tom has completed that exercise and it's 81,000. Uh, so you'll have that information as well. And I'll let, uh, I'll let Tom uh, speak to these. Hello everyone. So yes, uh, this is part of the Clean Water State Revolving Loan Fund program. <coughs> I, I think Vince may have sent out to you the email that was sent out to municipalities. It talks about three bullet point projects. Um, you may recall, we just did a clean water state revolving fund. It's like we did a couple of months ago. And you may recall that um, uh, on the list is uh, uh, the first one and the third one on the list deal with three acre stormwater programs in the town. And if you may recall, when we when the town received its new town center designation, it was conditioned, it was a conditional approval. And it was the con well, one of the conditions, there was a handful, one of the conditions was that the town Town Center, the one that the Berlin Mall campus is on, and the one that the Central Vermont Medical uh, Campus is on. Um, so, so what these dollars would allow us to do is to, at, uh, at really no cost to the town except the administrative time, uh, to get stormwater planning done in our new town center and get that section of the conditions taken off of that permit. Uh, so those are the those that's the the, the first and uh, uh, third bullet points there are two two stormwater ones. The other one, uh, the other one of the other bullets that the state is offering a hundred percent subsidy on are village center wastewater projects. You may recall that last year that the planning commission applied for an AARP grant to look at uh, developing a community-based wa wastewater uh, treatment uh, system in the village of Riverton. Riverton is a, is a uh, uh, designated village center in, in Berlin. And they did not get awarded that grant through AARP last year, but now these, there's dollars available through Clean Water's 100% um, subsidy to, to do that. Uh, at least at least the initial planning phase of that in, in the, the village of Riverton. So um, there's really no downside to the town of Berlin. The, uh, I think Vince is, may, I think maybe asking to, uh, if you agree to these projects, to uh, uh, approve to let him sign these applications on behalf of the town. Uh, this, uh, the, so somewhat competitive process. Uh, it's first come first serve is our understanding gets the dollars. So the quicker we get our applications in, the, the quicker that we, we may have a, a chance to receive these projects getting fully funded from, from the state. So, um, you have so, any the, questions? so these projects are guaranteed to be fully funded is what you're saying. 
that's that's what the we've been told in our loan application. We said we're we're accepting the money on, on it uh, on the basis that it would be a hundred percent funded from the state. That's fantastic. Okay. Now, my <clears throat> other question would be with the Central Vermont Medical Center campus. Wasn't that excluded from the Newtown Center? It it uh, it was with the statement that it could be brought back into the fold once stormwater is done. Okay. Tom, this this uh, three acre impermeable surface for stormwater, that that 100%, isn't that just for design? Planning and design. Okay, because I know we, for the, we applied for the park to, to join with the town and we still haven't heard back on that. Uh, and that's going back six, eight months ago now. Dave, uh, this program was just announced maybe two weeks ago. So, oh, so it's a whole different program because before it was a 50%. It, yeah. it, it's, it's the same okay. program, but now they're offering 100%. 100%. Money. If you look, I think it was um, either Friday or Monday. Um, no, sorry. I think it was either Thursday or Friday of last week. I sent an updated uh, email. Mm -hmm. It might have even been today, actually, that, uh, that shows the details, kind of an overview of that new uh, package that Tom's talking about that just went into effect. That's why we're trying to uh, move on this pretty quickly yep. to get in there. Yeah, it's a good, it's definitely a good thing. It protects the, the, the watershed. So yeah, absolutely. Well, I don't think we could approve for a town administrator to sign on behalf of a TSO. What was that exact amount again? 81,000. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does anybody uh, have any questions? No, I think I think I understand the program uh, because, like I said, it was a fifty percent matching thing at one point, uh, and it was uh, for three acres of impermeable surface to protect the the, the watershed. Uh, so, I think it's a good thing, and uh, I would make a motion with the to to a. Uh, approve that to be signed by the town manager to get it in as soon as possible. Second. Second. With the numbers that, the, you know, the 81 instead of the two to be determined. Yep. Uh, any other uh, comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you all. Thank you. All right, next up we got Brookfield Road signage and parking discussion. Yeah, that, that's on here again. Um, you know, that it was talked about at the last meeting, but there were two members not present. So um, it's on there again for further discussion. We still have one that's probably uh, pretty passionate about it as well. That's not with us tonight, but. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I think we should, I mean, I, I that's been an ongoing discussion we've had in the past and I'm not sure what the right answer is. Um, people oh. tend to park right in front of no parking signs there. <laughs> yeah. um, but do we really want to have people towed or ticketed for, for utilizing that area? I, I mean, I don't know. All right. right. So I can speak just briefly on that. I've done, I've done a little bit of homework on the, uh, on the, and the parking that's currently in place there as well with the signs. Um, the additional signs are something that we'd have to consider. Obviously there's, a, there's some guidelines to go by on placing those, um, but I think what's, what's left if the board so chooses is to define where we wanna place those signs like the, the crest of the hill by the Darling Hill Trail, <clears throat> right? When you come up over there, if there's a car right there, there's walkers in the road, somebody's in trouble. <laughs> right. Um, so, so it's, it's, it's that I think, again, my opinion, I'm not a law enforcement expert. Um, the way that the ordinance is written, it seems to be enforceable. 
uh, now uh, from a speed limit and parking. So, um, you know, they could, they could start ticketing people um, should we desire. But again, I'm waiting for confirmation from the chief on that as well right now. He has that to review. I would also ask the chief, I mean, I'm not an expert on roads. (laughs) (laughs) So what, what, I mean, they must have a fair amount of training on, you know, safe practices. So I would assume that they would be able to identify areas uh, that, that we should probably mark or that are more than others is he working to identify that as well for us no we actually have uh i guess i'm i'll hang myself out there on this one i'm doing that with the uh with the orange book and the state guidelines there's a very very good document on uh what to measure and how to measure it uh to determine some of that as well so i i'm in the process of doing that and then uh once i have that some recommendations i'll be bringing them to the chief to take a look at um, to get his feedback on. And then, uh, you know, I can probably present something um, in a couple of weeks to the board to say we should put additional speed limit signs in this location, no parking signs in this location, you know, but I got to, I got to measure it out. It's got to be so many feet from this and that and so on to be in the guidelines. So, so, I, got, so I got some, I got some field work to do to get that in for detailed information to you. So Vince, would you be looking for a, a motion to, to go ahead with the enforcement of these issues and then leave it for the chief to get back to us? Or do you want to hold off on any kind of motion about enforcement of the ordinances? Well, I, again, it's, um, it's really up to the board, but my, my recommendation at this point um, is that we keep talking about it to keep driving it. If, if the board agrees to move forward with that, I'll do the field work um, and then uh, work with the chief and we'll come back with a solid recommendation, including if he believes there's any um, changes that need to be made in the ordinance to make it uh, fully enforceable that they're comfortable with as well. Um, so that's, I guess that's the direction that I'm looking for tonight is go ahead, do the, do the field work, get the detailed information, come back to the board with a recommendation for you. That would be the good. If that makes sense. It, it does to me. It seems like after, because uh, I remember the last meeting with the, the road foreman, you know, when it came to grading and everything else, they were having problems, you know, even in the winter doing plowing and stuff like that yeah. because of the enforcement of those. So, I mean, my opinion would be to let's move forward with this uh, because it seems to be an ongoing issue. And I got to tell you, it's not just Brookfield Road. I've had uh, three calls on Richardson Road. And one call, believe it or not, on on uh, coups uh, wow. uh, as well. So I'm going to look at I'm going to look at all of them. Um, you know that they're they're talking about some sections should be reduced to 25 instead of the 35 that it's at now. Um, but I'll use this one as kind of my template to to do the field work, learn it, and understand it better, and then I'll take it to the next. Uh, probably the Richardson Road would be next because that's the one I'm getting the most calls on now. Um, and do the same, do a similar exercise. Excellent. For you. Thanks for your work, Vince. Definitely. No Thank you, Vince. Uh, any other discussion under the Brookfield Road signage and parking? Move to table to next, uh, move to table to next meeting. Second. <coughs> any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 You push me so hard, hard, Brad. What's that? <laughs> You're pushing me, Brad. Next meeting. <laughs> it's going to be like this meeting, only different. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got a Irish Hill Bridge discussion. I had asked that this get put on the agenda. Uh, there was a couple of bridges for the vast use. Um, I, I walked up the uh the trail with the conservation commission along with vast uh i think last weekend or well the weekend before um kind of looked at looked at some of the areas that bridge is in really bad shape uh, we've had uh we've talked about the the approval of the irish irish hill bridge um and then we have the black road bridge that we need to do the vast is willing to um the way it would work with the vast trail is if we had vast pay for the bridges 
they would own them and if the trails were were shut down or whatever they could theoretically remove the bridges in conversations that i've had with them um and i my i, I thought that it would be good if the town owned those bridges so regardless they could wouldn't be removed uh if if the snowmobile lost access um they've agreed to contribute a lot of free labor um and they've also Bast has also said they would do a lot of the excavation work, including water bars. Uh, we, I think they, is, they worked well with the Conservation Commission on that. Um, and we have uh, some invoices for the materials because that's all that it's going to cost the town. Um, the 10 foot wide bridges spanning, they'll, they'll, the design would carry the groomers. Um, so emergency vehicles such as a side-by-side -side would easily have access. Um, the total cost for both bridges for the materials other than what is being donated is about $6,000 and that 10 foot wide bridges. Um, and I don't know, uh, Josh is here. He, he can uh, probably comment a little bit more if the board has some questions. I thought it would be best uh, since it wasn't going to go through the, the snowmobile clubs and it's a town asset. Um, if we, I, I didn't know exactly how we'd want to handle it, but I, I have an invoice here from Fontaine. If we chose to get it, uh, it's $2,514 and 32 cents for the hemlock for bridges, for example. Um, so it's a total, I, I didn't know if it would make sense to, to get invoices then as the materials were being picked up, if it were approved to have Diane cut a check. I'm not, not hundred percent certain how the board would feel about handling that, but um, we've talked a lot about the bridges. Uh, the, the bridge is in pretty bad shape. I don't know if anybody from the conservation commission or the select board or Josh wants to comment at all on the topic. Um, feel free. <laughs> My, my question, Justin, is um, I know that uh, initially when we were talking about it, we agreed about uh, 3,000 from the Conservation Committee budget for the bridge. Um, the other thing I'll throw out there for consideration, um, considering this is, again, just my thoughts, it's, um, it's really for recreation. The Rec Committee uh, does have a, have a budget with some funds in it. Uh, we may wanna take the balance uh, of the, 3, 000, the other 3,000 from the rec committee budget um, as well to, to, to cover that and spread it out over the two uh, committees. That was one of my questions is where would we find the other 3000? Um, because I, I remember, I recall the proof, we approved the uh, conservation fund 3000. Um, okay. Is there anybody want to talk? I mean, has anybody talked with the people? On, is there anybody here from the rec committee? Not from the rec committee yet. Uh, but there is from the conservation committee. Wendy Lynn is here tonight. Yeah. Okay. And Vince pretty much said what we are thinking is that um, we've had 3,000 approved from our funds and would like to see the other 3,000 come from someplace else. Elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Elsewhere, yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. That's That was one of my concerns. Uh, I think I think if this were to be approved, we could just basically all the bills that we're going to get are pretty much 50 50 um, or we could itemize it separately, but it's they're basically identical. Um, yeah. Brad, how would you how would you think that if you were going to make a motion on something like this to approve each individual vendor, how would we do that? It's pretty complicated. I would just take and do it as the project. And then as we get material, Diane could cut checks. Well, um, if all you're buying really is lumber. Well, I would just... There's lumber, there's some hardware from Allen's. There's, you know, they, there's going to be some concrete work. We don't know if we're going to, you know, until you actually get it set up, if you're going to use the blocks or you start digging or whether you're going to form a little bit for the, you know, it's all going to be underneath. You won't see it, but. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're using multiple vendors, uh, usually, of course, when we do this, it would be like you'd hire a contractor to do it and let him worry about paying the bills. All right. And keep track of, uh, of the uh, invoices and pay them as they come in. We still have to approve them. Right. They're going to need, I think, the way, unless we run it through the, the, the snowmobile club, they'll need payment when they go pick it up is going to be the issue. I, I cannot issue a check unless I have a warrant that's approved first. So I'd have to have a warrant. But what I would suggest is a lot of these places, the town has an account with. For instance, Allen Lumber, I don't remember what the new name is, but we do have accounts there. So okay. if it's companies we have accounts with, that would make the most sense, you know, charge them to the town, uh, so I, you know, get I, approval from, from us. I think it's it's gonna be uh, Fontaine Forestry, uh, Allen Lumber and Carol Concrete. It'd be actually RK Miles, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right for Alan, yeah, and we do have an account with RK Miles and Carol Concrete, not Fontaine, but if he is willing to, or this company is willing to, um, you know, wait to get payment until it's a, the check has been approved by you guys, then, you know, that would work. I think he'd be willing to dig and do thirty days. Okay. Yeah. So I we could also I have the exact amount for Fontaine right now too in front of me. Okay. Of that many any difference um mm -hmm. well, that may be ready to pick up so that's two thousand five hundred fourteen dollars and thirty two cents and that's for the hemlock for both bridges okay and that's not sales tax included right because we don't pay sales tax that's correct good okay exempt. exempt from sales tax on there yeah. and i yep so that that's the yeah um and that might be ready to get picked up. Um, Wendy Lynn, did you have anything else on the bridges or any? Yeah, I just guess one question. If it was to go over budget, um, <laughs> where would the funds come from on that? Three thousand out of our funds. Um, right. We we yeah. The select board approved the use of three thousand dollars on that. Um, it, 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 we priced everything out. It it, sh it shouldn't go over. If it goes over, um, we'll have to we'll have to find a place. I mean, it'll be probably I'm not sure. It wouldn't even be a five percent over I can hear somebody talking, but I can't. Yeah, hold on. Hi, Wendy. That was, so, that, was that was me. There you are. Hi, Josh. Hi, Wendy. Oh, so um, I, I did call the places back to make sure that they were going to hold their prices. I didn't call for the hardware because that was just a small amount, but I did call Fontaine and they were holding their price that they had given me last fall. So I, I have actually called and had that lumber. They're going to start getting that milled out for us. And that could be ready within like a couple of weeks. Um, so, so we are hoping to maybe uh, get that invoice approved from the select board now. So that then when the time comes that I go and pick it up, that I can pay that invoice, you know, pay them for it. So I guess I've got one question. We were discussing some bank work also, um, whatever group I was walking with when we did the walkthrough, they were talking about um, needing to widen up the, um, the portion of that goes over the old stone culvert, which is right to the west of the bridge. Is that going to be an additional cost or? Nope, nope. that's all stuff we're gonna be able to use right off the, the materials right off the land there. We looked around, remember we looked and found some rock piles and we were just gonna kind of stack some uh, natural rocks right there for the adding to the width. Okay, and then um, as far as, are you gonna do that by hand or are you renting? It would be done with uh, both by hand and with a machine. Okay, and that, will be no additional cost for the machine? No, I think that um, VAST was gonna try to get a grant for stuff like that and for going up and doing the um, water bars and the ditching, you know, where we had to do some ditching up 
you know, and I, I think they were going to get a grant from Vast to do that. Wendy Lynn, Wendy Lynn. In the in the conversation, conversation that I had, can you turn that down? We uh, uh, with Vast, it, they would they would own the the bridge if they paid to install it, um, or they paid for it. So what 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 when I talked to Dave and those guys, what they thought would be a great idea would be if they covered the excavation work. So typically they would have paid to install the, the entire bridge, right. but if the snowmobile access were shut down, then they would have the ability to remove the bridge. Right. Yeah. Um, so I thought it was in the conversation, it seemed like a much better fit for everyone utilizing that area. Um, if the town owned the bridge, got some volunteer labor, um, and then from what Dave said, they would, uh, they would cover the excavation for us. Okay. I'm just trying to protect the conservation fund, you know, should there be additional expenses that were, that's, that's all I'm asking questions about right now. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I understand. Um, the conservation fund, uh, I can't guarantee that what the board would determine would be the best avenue for the money, but I, I'd say it's fairly well protected and we want to preserve that for you. It's not our intention to come back and say, hey, we're going to have to take another $1,500 from this fund. Our intentions are to utilize exactly what we're, we're saying we will up to $3,000 um, and hopefully it's less. Okay. Well, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, just Justin, along those lines, can we get copies of the uh, invoices sent to Diane for the for the file and she'll know uh, what to expect is coming as well? Yep, I can, well, we don't have invoices on uh, everything yet as far as the, like the blocks, um, but the, the Fontaine, the millwork, the, the hemlock, um, that, the that's thing. a big one. The big thing. Yeah. And that, the other ones we have accounts, at RKA Miles and Carol, so that'll, that'll, that'll work. Yeah. Uh, I can, Absolutely get this this dropped off or emailed over to uh, Diane ASAP the the Fontaine Forestry uh, and Millwork invoice. Great, thank you. It might be yep. a good idea just to uh, to get a, an account set up with Fontaine because in the future we may need some lumber. It'd be good well, to I have think it all set up. It wouldn't hurt. And if it's simple and easy, then then absolutely. I mean, the, this bridge is going to need maintenance. We must have other bridges, right, Brad? Well, not like this. The only other wood bridge decking we have is um, is uh, uh, Glennis Road. Wow, That's good it. inventory. What's that? <laughs> hey, good inventory. Right. But well, <laughs> I mean, they replaced that deck. 12, 13 years ago, I think. And they did it with um, pressure treated. Three thousand from the conservation, with three thousand from the rec committee uh, for this. These bridges yes, for the construction of the the Black Road Bridge and the Irish Hill Bridge. Well, I'd be uh, willing to make that motion. Uh, that three thousand came from the conservation committee and three thousand from the rec committee uh, for those two bridges. Uh, to be installed by the vast group. I think I think that covers it. And, and the vast and group is going to be looking for. Hold on. Can I get a, a second? Second. 
for right, discussion. That's so I would say uh, up to three thousand uh, dollars from each. They're going to be about the same um, construction, so up to three thousand. Yeah, that's all I would. But I think we're good. Do you, Zach, do you think that covers it, Brad? Yeah, but I mean, if if for some reason you if for some reason it goes over, um, I'm just trying to think. Well, I would just I would I would go with what you've got. If it goes over, it won't be by much. Um, right. Have taken uh, Diane. Do you have any idea where you could take and get a five hundred dollars for something like this? I'd have to look it up, Brad, to see what else we have. You know, we might have other reserves that I haven't really touched yet. But off, to, off the top of my head, right now, I don't know. I mean, I, well, from I what I thinking, recall, I was just thinking that what? I mean, if if this is going to be used um, for hiking, biking. Etc. You still have that uh, bike path account. We do. And and I think uh, I also think there's still some additional funds in the rec committee budget as well. Yes. I th I think we're probably good with three thousand dollars. I'm fairly positive that that's going to be well within the budget per bridge. But if it if it were to come back up, I think it would we would know in the next we'd have plenty of time for a meeting brad yeah uh, but i mean as long as as long as you can seemingly see that um see the uh those bridges being used by a bicyclist you've got i think forty thousand in the bike path fund i don't remember exactly how much we have in it but we do have a good amount yeah i thought it was more like 35 but it, it could be more wishful yeah. thinking on my part <laughs> <laughs> So that's separate from the rec funds at oh, this point. That yeah. Is. yeah, yeah, it is. It's it's we use some of that money to uh, uh to help build the bridge that goes from Route Two across the U32 property. Right. So I mean that money's been sitting there um for quite a while. Back when they were talking about uh, putting the bike path along the rail track from uh, Montpelier or Agway, roughly up to through to Barry, and uh, of course the trains have start, uh, they uh, the trains have started running again hauling granite and so the 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 use of the of the rail right of way has gone out the window so we still have the money in the in the account but it, we don't have any place to spend it and if you if you use these bri if bicyclists use these bridges as part of the trail then I would say you're good to go on that. So, so what are you, are you saying that we should use the bike path funds instead of? Instead no, I'm just saying use the bike path funds if you go over budget. Okay. So I guess a question comes up if, if, um, if the bike funds are available, maybe we should take a little bit out right now. Would that be a possibility and reduce What's coming out of the conservation fund coming out of the rec funds? Well, I would think that we would stick with the original plan since, I mean, I remember you guys were going to spend 5000 to start off with on this yes. bridge. So yeah, we part of that was because it was during COVID and we weren't sure where the money was going to come from. So part yep. of that was situational, but yes, you're right. No, I, I understand. I think that what I would what I, I think that the, the motions, the way it's made is, a, is good and that we have bike path funds available that we could look at for maybe future projects up there. Um, any other discussion? All right, all those in favor? All right. I didn't hear anybody else. Was it an aye from? Uh, uh, I said aye. Okay. Aye. All right, motion carries. 
Uh, Conservation Commission update, vast and admin support discussion. As we know, two weekends ago, um, and there was a lot of people there, so it was hard to say what was being said in different groups. But um, Vass was very interested in helping with um, some of the drainage issues, the bridge. Um, it's not clear what they need to do this year and what is maybe more long term. I'm not sure whether Just Justin or Joss have a better feel for that. Um, part of it, um, but there are a lot of interested people. And then we also um, did a walk through through the town forest on um, the Thursday after that and didn't see any major problems. Um, the only thing is that it does go through a very rich um, area with spring ephemerals and it would be nice if any maintenance that's done to that area was done late fall. Um, just so that that's protected and we really need to keep other people off that trail during the summer, during the spring. Um, there's a lot of plants in there. Um, and let's see what else. I think that's about it from us. Um, I can't really speak to the administration support. You know, once we're through the management plan, I think our work's going to ease off, but I don't want to speak for Phil on that one. Yep. Well, my, my, my thought on the interaction was that the uh, my thought with the interaction was it was a great walk up through there uh, with Bass, um, and I thought that it seemed once we had some good discussion going on that it was going to be very mutually beneficial. That you guys were very willing to work with them, and they were very willing to to accommodate what you thought would be best. Uh, uses or best best practices on the trail so i would really encourage it was very encouraging and i appreciate your time doing that yeah and they were very very helpful and they were seeing a lot of good stuff so yeah i agree so uh wendy i i have one question uh, um you did the walk through on the uh south, uh south of the tower um we are, were looking for approval to get started on that. So we want to get started on doing this trail. We're going to uh, want to use this trail this, this winter. So uh, there's quite a bit of work to be done. So uh, we're looking for approval to uh, get started on that. So I, I guess I'm not clear on what work you see needs to be done. When we walk through it, we look it looked like there needed to be some branching on some trees and some um, downed trees removed. Um, yeah, and that's about it, but we were just waiting for the green light from, from you guys, you know, from the conservation board. Yeah, I think, I think the process is that the management plan gets approved and then you can have the green light and the management plan is going to be um, to the select board um, the end of the week, and then we've got uh, the meeting on the 17th. Um, and as far as going through on the town forest, again, you really need to wait until the spring ephemerals are, are dormant again, which is going to be late summer on that part. I mean, the rest of the trail, the, the Ridge Line's okay and the Darling Trail is okay, but that section is through Rich Hardwood Forest and the plants need to go dormant before you walk through there a lot. Um, yeah, you know, cause I was expecting to be contacted and uh, um, be able to join in on that walk through. And then you could have pointed out to me the spots where you have issues and then we could maybe work in areas that didn't have the issues. So um, I'm a little concerned that you didn't get a hold of me about that. Cause I, th I thought I said that I would be available to go with you. Um, I, I thought Tom had tried to call you. We made a very last minute decision because of um, the weather and everybody's schedule. Um, but, you know, we could arrange to go up there again if you would like to do that. The whole area is rich hardwood forest. Um, and, and you notice you're on a, uh, an existing log road as well. 
correct? Well, that's what I'm saying. It, you know, from our perspective, it looks like what needs to happen is some of the trees need to be branched. Um, yeah. And it doesn't look like there needs to be any groundwork at all. And there's a couple of um, blowdowns that need to be removed. Correct. But it doesn't look like a lot of work okay. to get that but trail we, ready to go. It, we'd definitely like to get uh, through and just uh, take a look at all that as well, you know, just so we'll know what we need to do this fall, if, if you want us to wait until this fall. Okay, well, I, I think you need to wait until it's dormant. We'd be glad to walk through with you. Um, again, we wanted to get something done before the management plan and we were running out of time. Um, yep, okay. So, yeah, um, and then like one I said, we made a very last minute decision to go. Okay, um, one other question I have is for Diane, if she was going to um, get that account open at Fontaine Sawmill sooner than later. If, yeah, if somebody gives me the information to call Fontaine, I can call them tomorrow. Okay, that would be great. Yeah. Okay, we'll get so that if you can you. email that to me or, or call me with it, then I'll start working on that. Perfect. Thank you, Diane. Yep. Excellent. Um, thank you. So, the just for clarification, this management plan um, that um, that you got to mute your phone. Uh, that doesn't. I'm just trying to think. That covers. That doesn't cover the Berlin Town Forest section, does it? Uh, the protected areas. We've already got approval for, for the use uh, of snowmobiles in there. I do want to do this the right way. I'm just trying to make sure that, that everything can get a, be accomplished. As far as working on the trail system up, up towards the tower, that, what's preventing them from starting on that if, they, if, it's, if there's availability? Is there anything preventing that section of the trail, Wendy Lynn? Um, I mean, technically, the management plan is supposed to be approved um, before the work starts. I mean, well, the management you know, for all plan, intents and purposes, the management, it, plan, the management plan we're currently operating under already has that use approved in it. So I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing that's really going to stop you. I mean, you're going to okay. approve it on the 17th. Um, BLT is going to rubber stamp it. Um, okay. and then what about so as far as the areas of concern with that you said you wanted uh, vegetation to go dormant um, if those were existing logging roads and there's not a tremendous amount of uh, traffic through there I'm just trying to trying to figure out when I guess, I don't know how much work needs to be done. Do you have a map? Did you, or we, is it the same trail system that Josh? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, let me see, I may have a... And I'm just, I, curious, um, I'm just curious if there's certain areas, um, because if it's really just trimming limbs and, and trees that are already down, I would think, you know, that's not gonna get a lot of heavy traffic in use. So I would, I would be curious to know how that would differ from just property maintenance in any other area you know it's not like we can stop people from walking on it um if they're up there hiking on it as it is so i'm just trying to or biking i'm just trying to figure out if there's a way that we can do it and do it in a way that that won't won't damage anything um sooner than later that's all well i guess i mean it Right now, it's in the peak of the ephemerals. Um, the whole area is rich hardwood forest. Um, you know, so there's not this one little spot, it's all of it. Um, if you wait until towards the end of the summer with that section, then you won't damage the plants that are in there. You won't damage what's going on there. Um, Late August, September. Yes. And there's not that much work to do. Um, you need to branch it up. And I think there's a couple of blowdowns. Um, but to take ATVs through there right now is not good for you know what's going on biologically. Um, and to have a lot of people tromping through them. Most of the people who go onto that piece of property now 
um, tend to stay in the lower sections. There's not a lot of traveling through where the snowmobile, proposed snowmobile trail is. And we'd sort of like to keep it that way during the summer. Okay. I just wanted to get a gauge on it. Sounds like, I mean, we're gonna constantly be touching base on this as we go and make sure everybody's coordinating and everybody's happy. Um, yeah, well, well, it sounds like there's plenty of work to do with the bridge. And by the time you get through with the bridge and that part of it, then you move into this other part. Well, I know that if there's any sort of excavation work or anything like that, which it doesn't sound like there is, uh, they Almost would probably want to do that while the equipment was on site, obviously. Uh, there, was, there's nothing like that. It, it's not like the Ridgeline Trail where you've got drainage problems or there. There's not. It's all vegetated. Um, I don't see that there would be any need to bring equipment into that area. Okay. Um, any other uh, any other conversation around this? So the 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 management plan was we had a deadline of the first, right? So we're not too far off from that. Um, wasn't it well, the first? The, the first yes. of June was our original oh, deadline. I thought it was May. Awesome. I thought it was originally May. No, uh, we're, we're, we're bringing it to you ahead of schedule. It was actually, June 1st. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Um, anything else, Wendy, that you want to share with us? Um, no, nope, I think that's it. Thank you, Wendy. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. All right. Fisher Road culvert update. Yeah, just real, real quickly on that. Uh, we're still waiting to hear back from Chip. Um, uh, we haven't heard anything back yet. Um, so that's uh, really starting to have an impact now. So Tom, do you want to say anything to that one? I guess not. Yeah, no, I'm coming on. Okay. So uh, yeah, we, we sent over a month ago, we sent out the easement language to Review Inc. Um, we haven't had much feedback from them. Uh, last correspondence that we had it was a text message. Uh, Chip was saying that's being worked on, but uh, so we're we have a in the back of our minds we have a an alternate design that would just eliminate the need of of needing uh, an easement. Uh, it's uses sheeting. Uh, it adds cost to the to the project, and, I, and I'm not I'm not even going to venture to what the, the cost is right now. Um, our, our problem is that it's twofold. Um, we need this easement. We need VTrans to 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 sign off on on the design. Uh, so VTrans has had it for about six weeks now. Uh, but we, it's once easement and um, the design is approved by VTrans, it's a it's a ten week lead time to to order the structure. So May first, that gets us to the middle of July. Um, we got to bid this thing. We got to uh, and we have to be, we we can't work till after October fifteenth. So if we don't get this done here in relatively short order. Uh, I'm, I'm not very optimistic we're gonna get this done in 2021. And there's ramifications with that, I think politically for the select board of, of you know, keeping that road closed you know, uh, another year. So uh, uh, soon we gotta just fish or cut bait. And, and if, if anybody has any influence uh, with the folks from with you, Inc., we'd appreciate maybe you give them a call and see if we can get something done. Here's here's what I'm going to recommend. Um, I spoke to Chip, uh, I think, the Friday before our last meeting I was unable to attend. We had quite a lengthy conversation. Uh, he really wants to put all this in the past. He wants to put, he wants to be done with this is what he said. So he wants to, he wants to, he wants to work with the town. Uh, and he'd like to work with the select board. Um, so I, I would like to invite him on. I'm surprised he's not in here tonight, um, but I think we should put it on the next agenda and invite him in to talk about it. He, I see Brad, you're laughing over there. He had, he was supposed to gather a bunch of the information from the original uh, easements and 
the history behind it. Uh, he was going to talk to Toe's dad a little bit, um, Henry, but he he claims he wants to work with the town. He wants to have it so that we can utilize it. He just he said he wants to uh, he wants it to be fair. Um, and there was an original agreement many years ago that I guess wasn't recorded. So he was going to work on that. And I don't know if did you see any purchase option or anything like that in our, our research, Tom? No, I, I, I didn't. And, and they never mentioned anything about that either. From, from what he told me was, uh, it was a long time ago. Uh, I'm not sure what year or whatever, but they had come to an agreement with the town to, for the town to purchase that. Um, and as, as funny as the story may sound, the town sent 10% of the amount that they agreed upon. And Henry said, I'm not cashing that check and return the check. So they were going to work on some documentation, but there was a there was an agreement. He he genuinely wants to work with the town. I do believe it. Uh, so I think if we get him in on the next meeting and we have a as much information as possible, we may be able to come to some sort of a conclusion. That's about the best we can do at this point, anyway. Again, you know, there is a redesign to to just eliminate the need for an easement from them so but we don't know how much that's going to cost at this point so well, we, we don't know how much the laying is going to cost either so anyways yep uh we, he's he has been invited to the last two meetings um i'm surprised yeah. he's not here either but um he, he, anyways, asked, yeah. he asked if he could he specifically asked me if he could work with the select board so i wanted to bring that to the board's attention and see if they were willing to do that too so i think uh that's a good idea Justin, if we could get them in and, and, and talk with them directly, because time's of the essence, especially on this concrete uh, culvert. Uh, if you look at the projections, I don't know how long they're going to hold these prices or if Tom has prices, but uh, we're going to come into an area with uh, concrete being a shortage this year. It's already predicting it. So the sooner we can get something done and signed down on paper, the better off we're going to be. Thanks. Keep wanting to say Tracy, but I know it's Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for that one, I've got a note. I will, uh, I'll get that on the uh, 17th meeting agenda. Thank you, Vince. I appreciate that. Um, and then any information we can find <clears throat> in the meantime, so that the town's well prepared. I mean, we did, I do, I do think yeah, he was he, he knows that there was an option for the town to purchase it that we agreed upon at one point in time and for whatever reason that transaction didn't happen. Um, so if we can find any of that somehow I'm not sure if he ha he may have some I can reach out to him as well. Um, I think that that that's what we need to do. So I don't know if there's anything on records or whatever rosemary may be familiar as well so yeah we'll take a look all right anything else on the fisher road culvert excellent uh, approval of license permits vouchers and applications i have those in front of me so i will go ahead with that I make the motion to approve payroll warrant 21-22 for payroll from April 11th, 2021 to April 24th, 2021, paid on April 28th, 2021 in the amount of $44,133.09. Also payable warrant 21G22 with checks 21092 to 21120 in the amount of $57,129.24. I would second that motion. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. All right, next up we have minutes. Uh, March 1st, March 8th, April 5th, and April 12th. Um, I make the motion to approve the revised March 1st, 2021 minutes. Can I get a second? 
Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, what do we got? The uh, March 8th. Move to approve the March 8th, 2021 minutes. A second. Any discussion? I just wanted to add that I believe there needs to be a revision to those minutes because I had made the motion to nominate Brad for chair and that's not included. It goes right from the initial nomination to Brad turning the meeting over to you as the chair. And I think that needs to be included as well. And I'm not sure, I don't think anything else was missing, but that was. Got it. I'll, I'll take a note. I'll, uh, I'll revise that uh, flow per your comments. And thank uh, you, Vince. And put that on the next, next and, meeting. And thank actually, you. I, Sorry about that. Actually, I don't think I could uh, vote on those first minutes. I went there on the March 1st. I wasn't in on that. So I don't believe I could vote on that. Right. Oh, good point. Well, even if, if you abstain, Dave, it's still, uh, there's three of us here for the quorum. Okay. Right. So I'm going right. to change my to an abstain from that. Right. So, uh, Brad, do you care to amend your motion at all with those changes? Uh, I'm willing to amend the changes on the, I got to get my phone back. <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, March 8th special meetings to include the nomination from Flo uh, for you as chair? Um, uh, I would amend the, uh, the March 8th me uh, 2021 minutes uh, to include the revisions that uh, Flo Smith uh, requested. Can I get a second on that? Second. All right, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. <laughs> All right. Now we have the uh, April 5th, 2021 minutes. I make, make a motion to approve the April 5th, 2021 minutes as presented. I second that. Any discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Abstain. Motion, motion carries. Uh, April 12th, 2021. Make a motion to accept the April 12th, 2021 minutes. Second. Uh, any further discussion? I'm trying to think if I was there. Uh, the, yes, you were. Okay. Yeah, you were at both of those last two, Brad. Uh, oh, there was one meeting I missed. No, well, according to the minutes, you were there. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough for me. All right, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Right, motion carries. All right, so we have committee and board appointment policy, committee bylaws process, uh, discussion approval. Yeah, this, this one we've been kind of kicking down the can, kicking the can down the road on this. Um, it's been on and off since, uh, since February, actually. I'm just looking for comments or um, acceptance to move forward with the policies. This is in regard to all our committees and, um, and commissions and how they are set up to operate. And also um, the, the, the bylaws for operation and the whole appointment policy uh, that we go through to get people on those boards. Right. So this, this, this is basically uh, utilizing the subcommittees to vet all candidates, but we're also, the select board's also receiving letters of interest or, or any interest uh, from all the candidates as well, correct? Correct. As I get letters of interest or, or members of the existing board get member uh, letters of interest, they get forwarded onto the board as well. Um, I also think um, 
I also think I put in there that they will um, be at a select board meeting as well as part of the so, vetting process. So my, my big thing would be uh, I'd like if it's not in there, I, I would think that all letters of interest should be directed to the town administrator. That it, it is that it is worded that way. They should all come into me uh, through whatever channel, and then I bring them to the board. And then you distribute them to the sub the, the other sub boards, right? The yeah, yeah, they'll go back out to the the existing board members uh, yep. and to the select board as well. Okay. I mean, I, I think we definitely need to, to have a policy and procedure in place for that. And we don't currently. And this this appears to me to be like at least a good starting point. Not well, saying I, I, I will tell you, I, I plagiarized the daylights out of it from the recommendations of the Vermont Leagues of Cities and Towns. I didn't come up with this all on my own. So well, we, <laughs> it's we never comprehensive. Gave so we never gave you credit for all of that, but no. okay, good. <laughs> yeah. uh, and but it's the same, same with the bylaws. I think it, it's, it's, <laughs> and my intent is once, once these are finalized and I have the board's approval, um, I will meet with each of the committees and commissions to roll these out and go over them with each one of them. Okay. I'll make a motion to accept the, uh, Procedures and policies put in place for adapting. Oh, let's see. Sorry about that. Uh, make a motion to adapt the procedures for the committee appointments as discussed, as explained by Vince. Second. And, and the bylaws, please. And the bylaws. <laughs> As, as, any uh, any further discussion? All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Just just Motion one thing to note: all, all these great things that you're approving. Um, Diane's going to go crazy sending things out for signatures. <laughs> oh yeah. Just a reminder: they all need to be signed. Dave, that was a good one. I'm proud of you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um all right round table Flo, do you have anything no thank you though brad nope dave no i i i think uh no i think i'm all set actually right now all right i've got two things i want to talk about real quick in the round table uh number one is uh this one's pretty simple are you guys how are you guys feeling about getting back to uh, in-person meetings? I'm okay with it. I mean, I've been vaccinated. It's been more than two weeks. Uh, I don't think we cram too many people in there, do we? I think we can safely do it according to the governor's guidelines. Um, but I, I wanted to make sure the rest of the board was in favor of that or at least the majority of the board was in favor of that, we should say, right? Um, so, Brad, I mean, we don't need to make a decision, but if everybody's good with that, I'd like to at least start offering both um, moving forward. The other thing that I wanted to talk about real quick was um, I was liaison to the fire department last year, um, and Dave's taken over that this year. Um, and they are working on, they had, they had promised us a, uh, a potential merger study um, and, and I, it was supposed to be delivered prior to town meeting. Uh, it hasn't even gone out yet that I know of. Um, and so I'd like to start working to kind of maybe bring everybody together in these different departments. So, you know, we have the fire department, we have the planning commission. I mean, it seems like every week we have a, uh, state revolving loan program applications and i'm not 100 <laughs> certain why uh, or if we're anticipating more next week um zoning uh we have a lot of development that's going to be going on hopefully in the next 20 plus years in the town of berlin and i, I want to make sure that all of our departments are able to keep up with the, the growth um without burdening the taxpayers i mean we're talking a lot of businesses um, this should be really good for the taxpayers and, and it should help make Berlin 
keep the tax rates low. It should keep it affordable. Um, so in some of the discussion, I just want to say, see what um, everybody's thoughts were on, on having the liaison for the, the police department and have the police department in at least once a month and have it scheduled, have the, the road crew in once a month, have the fire department once a month, have the planning commission meet once a month. We, we have all that. Um, you know, I can tell you that I, I think that we, do you guys know what the fire department does? Puts out fires. Right, exactly. Uh, do you know what they deal with? Do you know what their challenges are? Um, do you know how they're how they're planning to grow with the town instead of just coming and saying, "Hey, we need instead of three hundred and fifty thousand, we need five hundred and fifty thousand dollars this year," uh, you know, because that could very well happen. So, I think what you know, some of the things that I, I would like Dave at the next meeting, and that you guys can tell me what your thoughts are. But you know, the fire department, who really does what over there? There's a corporation. There's a Um, and then, you know, they deal a lot with false alarms. Do we have an, we had an ordinance we had adopted, Brad, right? As you recall. I believe um, so. And, uh, it was, it was for the false alarms. So, so I'd like to work with them to, to see how we can, um, sort of, in, you know, enforce that or support them with that. And the other question they had that they, they were curious about was they had, we had talked previously about us uh maybe diane taking over some of the the accounting practices for them um and i'm not sure if we're ready to do that yet or not uh, last i had thought uh, it was once we hired a town administrator um so now that we have a town administrator i'm curious if now's the time so vince what i what i'd like to do is have the start uh a rotation where we have these, you know, the fire department included along with these other boards. Uh, obviously the conservation commission has been very active, but it would be nice to have a kind of a state of the union or state of the board for, for us so that we, we can better understand what's going on. Sure. Um, so you, uh, one, for the one committee commission or department per meeting. I, I think that would be, if we do any more, it's just going to be going to be a lot. Don't you guys agree? The uh, how many how many of these commissions did you want to uh, come before the board at any on any one month? We're going to have all of them. We're going to have another hour or two on each meeting just devoted to that. Right. I would take in. I would suggest that you have a uh, committee come in. Um, how many committees were you thinking? The fire department, conser conservation, are you talking recreation, um, uh, highway department, police department? Um, well, I mean, the highway and the police are kind of already baked in there, aren't they? I yeah. mean, we, we, we talk to them on a, on a fairly routine basis. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I was thinking more like when's the last time the planning commission came in to talk to the select board? There's probably seven committees, I think, including uh, the EMT group. If we include them, there's probably seven committee or commissions on the list uh, that we're talking about. It's uh, the rec committee, public works, planning, EMT, economic development, uh, conservation, and potentially the cemetery commission. So the the EMT and the fire department would be under one, wouldn't they? Well, Good the question. EMT the EMTs are are hired separately from the uh, the the rest of the squad is hired separately from the fire department. Right, those are contract. So, yeah. so there's there's that seven, and then you're talking about the highway group and uh, the uh, fire department. So let's focus, let's just focus on a couple right now, maybe like the fire department's a good one. 
um, Public Works Planning Commission. Uh, the EMT, like you're saying, the, the conservation, we're going to have so much involvement that we don't need to invite them in for a special agenda item, I don't think, anytime yeah. soon. So that, when you're yeah. paying EMT, you're talking about the ambulance service for the, for the town, correct? Yeah. Okay. So I, it might be a good idea to understand that, and part of the reason for that would be uh, we pay them a, a pretty significant amount of funds um, for them to, and I know that for what it's worth, I don't know if we're getting a great deal, an exceptional deal, a, a, a mediocre deal, or a terrible deal, but I do know that it's convenient to have your ambulance housed up in the four corners when you're doing billable transports outside of your town emergency covered services as well. Um, and I, I, I mean, I don't, I assume that's what, how that works. I, I can't speak for certain, but it would be nice to understand what they have for calls uh, in a day and what are borough end calls. And, oh, and I just, I just need clarification here. Cause I think we're, there's two separate ones. We have the town emergency management team and we have the uh, contracted ambulance service. Yeah. Okay. Well, you want both? I don't think the contracted ambulance service is probably going to come in, but I was hopeful. Uh, <laughs> there, he is the uh, the manager of that has come in before the board on several occasions. You just have would, to invite him. It would be nice to invite him. Okay. Uh, I don't know that we'll be able to have them ongoing, but I my intention would be to have whatever the frequency that we determine be that you know maybe every every other month the fire department comes in and, and joins us for a meeting and we kind of get a state of the union from them. Um, and perhaps the ones that couldn't come in, maybe they could send us a report, you know, just an ongoing report. Well, and, and I think that we can get especially to that ongoing report area, but I, I think we're going to have to have some dialogue first so that we know what we want in the report. Mm. So that we get relevant data and information that, that we can use and understand. Um, mm -hmm. So, so I think we'll start with the fire department at the next meeting, um, and they'll have the, the the answers to the questions that we've asked. And we can also ask them some other ones. I mean, they're they're a volunteer organization that we we need to support, but they also we need to support them. They need to support us the way we need to, and and I want to make sure that as the town grows, they grow with us, and that's that's a tremendous concern of mine at the moment. Um, I will have, sorry about that, Justin. I will, I will have some reports for the select board. Once I get acquainted with, uh, you know, their procedures and what's going on, uh, it is going to be very important with, with the way Berlin is growing to make sure that, uh, the fire department has what they need to, to, just to cover our needs. Um, uh, and it's going to take a little bit of digging, um, uh, just to, to, to see how they operate and stuff. And, uh, well, I think, I, Dave, I think, I think what we would be asking you to do as the liaison would be to let them know what first and foremost, I mean, we can't expect you to come up with the, that information, give them a heads up that we're going to expect this information at the next meeting, which I know they, they are anticipating being at the next meeting. Okay. Uh, so give the, to let them know that we're, this is what the board is asking for. Um, and just relay that to them and ask them if they need anything from us, but, but, and also do your own digging. But I think most of the questions that we're going to have to start off with are going to be something that we're going to need responses from them on and, and, and not so much um, many findings or whatever you sure. may come up with. Yeah, I think it's very important. We're going to have to give them information, uh, whether it be from the public works board or what's going on with the, you know, the new town center, and, uh, and, 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 you know, making sure that we have the ordinances in place and possibly help them uh, with billing and, and, and some other things down the road to help them be more efficient and, or to, to know that we're all headed in the right direction, I guess, is what I'm, I'm trying to yeah. say. Right. And I think we need to do that with all the boards so that if somebody just were to step in here they would know right where we left off or as close to where we left off as possible all right that's all i had uh do, do we have an executive session tonight vince yes sir 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, I will. Uh, Contract I will... personnel. Vince. Sorry. Contract or personnel. Personnel. Any, uh, are you expecting a uh, vote at the end of it? Some, probably. We're going to need some direction, a decision. Okay. Um, move to uh, adjourn select board and enter into executive session. I'll second that. Any discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion carries. Give, give me just a minute to move uh, Orca and the, the guests to the uh, waiting room. They are back in. Excellent. Since there's, since there's going to be no action taking, I, uh, I move to uh, adjourn. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. Thank you. Thank you all. Have Thank a great you. night, sorry everyone. To keep you, sorry to keep you guys waiting for no action, Dave. <laughs> Take care. Thanks everyone. for asking the question, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? So thanks for asking the question, though. <laughs> Have a good one. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you.